33-year-old Alex Hunold is one of the world's greatest athletes. And these are his playing fields. Steep, unforgiving mountainsides he would free solo, climbing alone, without safety equipment of any kind. Many of the free solos that I've done, I've done in total isolation, total secrecy, haven't told anybody about, haven't, um, you know, haven't had any fanfare, I just go out. It demands a little more from you than other types of climbing. With free soloing, you cannot make a mistake or you potentially die. Jimmy Chin and Elizabeth Chai Vassarelli, filmmakers and husband and wife, were interested in making a movie about their friend Alex, his van-based lifestyle, his climbing ability, and his painstaking preparation on the mountain and off. I knew that he was extraordinary. You know, I've been filming and shooting in the mountain adventure world for 20 years. And I've also worked with the top athletes who are at the peak of their careers. Even the top athletes understand that he's functioning on like a different level. But since 2009, Alex had been thinking about the greatest unachieved free soloing challenge. Yosemite National Park's mighty El Capitan, nearly 3,000 feet of sheer granite, equivalent to a 270-story building. El Cap holds a special place in climbing history or even mythology, really. This is like the perfect objective for me. He said, if anyone's going to make a movie, it has to be about El Cap, which changed the dimensions of the whole endeavor. It's a choreographed dance of a 3,000-foot face. People who don't understand think, wow, you know, that's crazy or that's wild. But people who really understand climbing are by far the most blown away. It's such a big wall. You look up and you're like, that is crazy. You know, it's like imagining walking into the Pacific Ocean and swimming to Hawaii. You know, in some ways it was almost too big and too daunting of a project to take on totally by myself. So it actually sort of helped to have it as part of the film project. Jim's gonna follow you guys down. Even as they signed on, his dream put Chai and Jimmy in a crisis of conscience. It was a question of can we bear it and can we execute it safely? Your concern for your friend's safety. I was thinking that's really is way too dangerous. Like why would we ever do this? You know, are we in some way gonna make him more likely to mess up? Do we trust that Alex will make the right decisions, that he won't do something because he feels pressure to do it and only try to solo El Cap for himself and not for a film? They're remote cameras because we want to stay out of Alex's line of sight. To capture Alex's every move as he would ascend El Cap, Jimmy and Chai assembled an elite core of mountain-savvy cinematographers. They had to be elite professional climbers. I never wanted to have to question anybody on my crew about their decision-making on the wall or moving in high-angle terrain. Beyond that, they also had to be great cinematographers. There was tons of conversations from Jimmy and Chai to the whole team about, you know, giving him his space and, and trying not to influence or, or affect that. They, too, had spent years perched on treacherous cliffs or hanging off mountainsides to get that great shot. And now, as they avoided making eye contact during Alex's practice runs, they faced the same moral quandary. Nobody wants to see him falling through their frame and dying in front of them. I think I can safely say I woke up every day for two years imagining, you know, what it would look like if he fell in front of me. No mistakes tomorrow. 
We were never told specifically what to do if Alex was to fall and die while we were shooting. There was never a discussion about like, do we stop rolling? I didn't necessarily mind if there was footage of me falling to my death. I just didn't want one of my friends to have had the experience of hanging 10 feet away from me. Because I mean, that would be a huge burden to put on one of your friends, you know, for them to be second guessing the rest of their life, like should I have done something differently? If I make a poor decision and die in an accident, you know, that's kind of on me, but I definitely don't want to put that on somebody else. We always believed and trusted in Alex's process, that he does want to live, and he's thought very deeply about his immortality. Alex does know exactly why he's letting us film it. He did think it was someone should film the first free solo of El Cap. 